a new report has finally shed light on Matthew Perry's final hours. Here are all the heartbreaking details. Matthew Perry died at 54 years old in October 2023, though an announcement of his official cause of death was deferred until medical examinations could be completed, it has now been determined to be the acute effects of ketamine, according to TMZ. Although Perry used ketamine infusion therapy to help with his depression and anxiety, that infusion was not what caused his death, due to the length of time between his last infusion and when he died. TMZ reported that the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner said the ketamine caused both cardiovascular overstimulation and respiratory depression for Perry. Among the contributing factors to his death were drowning and coronary artery disease, as well as the effects of buprenorphine, which is used in treatment of opioid addiction. The outlet's coverage of the medical examiner's reports notes that there was no evidence of alcohol, methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, PCP, or fentanyl. Though the report does not indicate how often Perry was receiving ketamine treatments immediately before he died, he had previously been receiving infusions approximately every two days. A new doctor, who took over his treatments six months before his death, reportedly prescribed a decrease in frequency. Perry had been open and honest about his history with addiction, and things were apparently looking up for the friend star in the time before his death. Sources close to him claim he had never been happier, per TMZ. He wrote in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, that he hoped his advocacy for those struggling with addiction would be his greatest legacy. Maybe if they hear a story from somebody they've seen on TV that's worse than theirs or just the same as theirs, they'll be filled with hope. Speaking to people upon the release of his memoir just one year before he died, the actor placed significant emphasis on his gratitude for everything he had. He said, I don't really blame anybody for what I've been through. It's a disease. I have it, and so do more than 10 million other people. While it might be easy to speculate that the fame of being on such a massively popular show as Friends caused his struggles, Perry was quick to note that his addictions had already begun to take hold before he took on the role of Chandler at the age of just 24. In fact, he credited his castmates for their support, saying they were understanding and they were patient. Just the creative experience of being on Friends probably saved my life. In the weeks that followed Perry's death, fans and loved ones flooded the internet with tributes, including some devastating comments from his Friends co-stars and collaborators. Matt LeBlanc, who played Joey on Friends, took to Instagram to say, It was an honor to share the stage with you and to call you my friend. I will always smile when I think of you and I'll never forget you. Never. Spread your wings and fly, brother. You're finally free. Much love, and I guess you're keeping the 20 bucks you owe me." Though his loss is undeniably devastating to his fans, friends, and loved ones, it's clear that Matthew Perry saw his life story as one of victory that he hoped could inspire others. After he passed, the Matthew Perry Foundation was established to continue his life's work to help others with addiction. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.